Hello everybody and Holy Vision here from Venomous Pictures and do you have one of these or one of these and it's working in some games but not the others that might be because you're using the old joy dev instead of the EV dev so what that means is there are two kinds of systems on Linux the old method of reading joysticks through dev slash input slash the event and then the new way from the uh, permissions and everything in uh, etc udev slash rules dot d or lib slash udev slash rules dot d and I've had questions like this come to me going how do I get this set up okay so we're gonna look at that and get it all set up right now so the first thing you might want to do is not have your joystick or whatever plugged in right? and then just type ls usb that way you can get a list of the items that are plugged in and in case your joystick or whatever model of uh you know steering wheel or whatever shows up and it's something like that right and it doesn't have a name you can at least pinpoint the difference from when it's plugged in and not plugged in. Now we actually plug it in and we type ls usb again. And luckily for us, ours, uh, the one I'm doing right now is this right here. So it identifies it. And what we need to grab is these key numbers right here and letters. So your 044F, that'll be the actual vendor ID, and the uh, B10A will be the product ID. And you'll need to jot those down, and if you have a throttle or uh, pedals or you know shifter, whatever it is, and it plugs in the USB, You'll have to jot down all of those individual ones. So once you've uh, jotted all that down, you'll need to find a group using groups or make a group and add the users to the group. I won't be in actually making a group in this video, but I will have all that information on how to create a group and add a user to a group in the description box below. The uh, group I'll be using is Steam because once you've actually installed Steam, it tends to make the group and adds the controller permissions and everything. So once we've actually decided on the group we're going to be using, created the group, whatever, uh, we need to sudo then uh, our decided uh, text editor you want to use. I use Nano, use whatever your preference is, and then etc slash udev slash rules dot d and then make up a file name for this i'm going with 99 dash thrustmaster dash p1600 dot rules and then we just need to go into the file and in the file here we will have to put subsystem equals usb so we know it's looking for a usb device that vendor ID, which should reflect on, if it's a set, it should reflect on the same vendor ID. And then the mode, which is basically the permissions for uh, grabbing it for Steam and various other things to use. So this is how our setup should look. Kernel equals event asterisk. Uh, ID product B10A, as we saw in the terminal for the Thrustmaster. Uh, and then we need the vendor ID here, and then the mode again, and then we need to set the group. As I was saying, I'm using Steam, use your group here, or whatever you decided on, and then my throttle. I've already, like I said, I already set all this up. So my throttle has the pedals and stuff plugged into it directly, depending on your setup. If it's got a USB cable for everything, 
you may have to, you know, make a bigger file than mine. But basically, you just have, make this file right here, set all that up, press the Control X, it'll ask you to save it. Uh, yes, and and then we need to sudo udev adm control dash dash reload. Now, what that'll essentially do is it'll reload the udev rules so we don't have to potentially restart to get this working. Now, once you've done that, go test out a few games and you should be able to use your device in those games that weren't using uh, the controller or finding it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit your monitor real hard on that bell button to crack it. And we'll be uh, seeing you in the next video. This is Unholy Vision signing out.